हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू प्रोडक्ट एंड ब्रांड मैनेजमेंट अप टिल नाउ वी हैव ट्राइड टू बिल्ड अप आर कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्सेप्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग थ्रू टर्मिनोलॉजीज ब्रीफ यू नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन सम प्रोडक्ट रिलेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट फिलोसफिकल परस्पेक्टिव एंड यू सी as of now i feel that you are aware of the fundamentals the fundamentals which would come up in due course of time in most of our discussions starting from today because today onwards we will be talking about the strategic and management perspective of product and later on product being a brand brand and branding and it is going to become more interesting and interesting in due course of time wherein it will it will create a, a a picture in your mind wherein you would be observing everything around yourself with the perspective of product management and branding you see whenever you would be looking at a water bottle now your the design and the appeal would come to your mind and the perspective would come to your mind that what the marketer would have thought of when developing this product would it be you know related to ease of how you drink water did did he have this thing in mind did he have the element of durability did he have the element of ease of carrying this bottle when when uh, he conceived or she conceived that you would be carrying this bottle all along would it be uh, you know uh, would it would it have been related to uh, actually how you would hold this bottle in your hands how would you open up the you know lid or the cap and you see you would drink for example someone wants to drink uh, water in in a hurry and and you know while while walking would it be feasible and if children would be hand you know handling the bottles so so uh, for example i i remember i was talking to uh, a senior executive of uh, you know uh, a, a a manufacturing company which manufactures water bottles for school kids now he told me an interesting thing actually see he told me that uh, when they were producing water bottles for kids in general uh there was you know i i a sales perspective which was growing and then sales was you know rising and so on and and they were marketing it with emphasis on how water would remain cool or hot as as per the requirement but when they started distributing or marketing the same product in the rural areas lots of complaints uh started coming in especially with reference to you know uh, kind of uh, the durability of the product that the product is not you know durable it is getting broken up very you know in in, in a very short span of time and it was not very unique to rural areas but but definitely you know when when they started expanding in you know uh, smaller cities rural areas and so on so now you see a very different kind of an input Uh, was given to them about the uh, behavioral perspective of kids there in different kinds of schools which they started addressing after that i'm not saying that there is a differentiation between urban schools or rural schools but but there was a behavioral difference wherein uh, children in those schools where they started marketing uh, their product they uh, you know they started playing with water bottles actually so so you know now uh, they they started using it as a uh, you know a temporary bat or something you know they 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 uh, they were found hitting the walls uh, with the water bottles and so on and uh, that is how the complaints started pouring in now uh, that very interestingly motivated the product manager to take this up with the production team and then they created a sturdy form of that water bottle for uh, you know almost all the kids 
uh, realizing the fact that this can be a behavioral change in any of the kids whether it be rural, semi-urban or urban and whichever way. So, this can be a behavioral perspective which must be addressed, this should be safer, this should be sturdy, it should not break. Now, that was for the first time they considered that and you see that is where the need of product differentiation and those kind of elements come in. Here in this brief description, I wanted you to imagine that uh, continued touch with consumers and customers through marketing research, a product manager gets a view of how product is behaving in the market, how it is being accepted and then looking at the perspective, he or she tries to create a differentiation with the help of the production team and projecting that differentiation in front of the customer back. Now, starting the story. You see that is where production uh, product differentiation comes into being all the products and remember all the products you see are thought of being different by their producers and their product managers basically that is that is the ultimate objective of every product manager to project whichever product they are you know uh, developing or you know uh, uh, driving to be different how different is, is a challenge because there, are, there is a scope of differentiation in all the products. In larger products for example, you can create lots of difference and we will see an example of you know an, an, an air, aircraft uh, in an, uh, you know subsequent session, the next session wherein you would realize that there is a huge scope. But when the, you are talking of water bottle, then definitely there is a lesser scope. So, what kind of a differentiation elements you choose and that is a very big challenge because that differentiation element can uh, as, I, as I talked earlier also can alter the complete supply chain at the back end production processes on the one side that is a that is a, you know a, 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 a tedious process. But on the other side how to project that even if you have brought that particular kind of a change. For example, uh, in an aircraft. Uh, you have brought in a particular kind of a change in the seat and that change can be experienced by the customer, he feels happy, delighted, but you see neither customer can express that he is feeling happy and delighted because of the seat curvature nor you have projected that way if you are a product manager. So, how actually you know to project it that is also a perspective and here in product management course we are largely focusing on the marketing part of you know how to bring in differentiation and how to project a differentiation although it, it is you know intensely related with the production part as such. So, you see to be branded products must be differentiated however indifferentiable they are and differentiation you know can be seen with the physical perspective, features, form, style, etc., and services, which you know uh, uh, can also be you know differentiated with the perspective of how service is rendered. Now you see physical difference is important, although service difference is equally important, but physical difference in uh, product is very visible actually, and and the importance of visibility actually you know is is carried along with with that that thing which is the reason for organizations focusing on research on design and design thinking and I will be talking about that later on through several kinds of an example uh, uh, kinds of examples wherein I would be suggesting uh, you know few organizations uh, I would be talking about them uh, which are specifically working upon design, design development, design thinking and those kind of elements and there are a whole lot of designers around the world which are actually focusing upon product development, product management and such. India is very rich nowadays as far as you know uh, these kind of design organizations which uh, work in their design studios day in day out. So, you see there are products which have low variations for example, aspirin, some grocery products. So, how to differentiate them? You have to actually project the differentiation in uh, with a perspective and we will see that uh, when we will talk about uh, positioning elements. And then there are high variation products as I said automotives, commercial buildings, furniture and, and that can be expressed well. So, there you have a larger scope of as far as 
you know differentiation. Now, let us look at a uh, few of the elements of differentiation. For example, form. Now, many products can be differentiated in form, the size, the shape or physical structure of the product. Now, you would have noticed that many mobile phone manufacturers, they have been actually projecting the mild slightest change in the size of the mobile phone with, with reference to that, that it has brought in more visibility in terms of whatever you are watching on the mobile phone with reference to, you know, kind of. Many mobile phone manufacturers are uh, actually projecting the changes which they have brought in terms of the lenses of cameras. You know the cameras which they are fitting in. Someone says that there are three. There, are, someone says there are four. Even you see uh, to to uh, you know make it more enable in terms of for the people who like to click from their mobile phones, who who often click photographs and and you know who love to capture uh, the scenes, videos, and photography and so on. So so that smallest of the size also matters if you can project it well. Now that is that is the perspective which we are carrying here. Shape definitely. Definitely, it, it, it matters a lot. You see, uh, people work upon shapes with, uh, you know, uh, with so much of intensity, you know, how, how aesthetic it can be, how, what are the curvatures, how, how would it look actually, you know, what would it resemble. And, and this element definitely resonates with the discussion we have had in personality, uh, you know, when, when we were talking about personality. So, you see, Consider many possible forms, uh, you know, disposable plates may have, and and uh, you you would you would uh, know the difference. You would notice the difference. It's an interesting kind of a thing, and and uh, you know, uh, disposable spoons, for example, you know, many a times you go to picnics and you you have packaged food, and and if your spoon is not you know uh, uh, having that kind of a curvature, you would not actually enjoy eating. That, that is the slightest of the thing basically which actually matters a lot at the end of the day. So, so uh, try and uh, you know uh, notice these things all around you. You see although essential a product can be differentiated by size, shape, color, coating etcetera. For example, you know there are uh, chewing gums, there are, there are chocolate stuffies, wherein you know there, there are several kinds of elements which can be incorporated there and, and uh, I would not repeat on larger products. Features, most products can be offered with varying features that supplement their basic function. Marketers should consider how many people want each feature, how long it would take to introduce it and whether competitors could easily copy it or not because we are talking of differentiation. We want to keep up the differentiation. And we want to project that particular differentiation with relevance, you know, carrying a relevance for the customer. So, so that is what the effort is. And, and I am uh, trying to emphasize here that differentiation has to be made noticeable and relevant for people. For example, you know, it is a very simple kind of an example. There is a notebook, the page is very smooth, white. Now, it has to be projected in front of the child or the person who is using that particular notebook that this page actually would give him satisfaction when he writes on it. Now, it is a very simple thing. We might not have noticed this for, for, for a long time, but uh, again this is a thing which has to be projected by the marketer and the product manager. Now, uh, let us take some examples uh, you know, further to this, for example, laptops. Now, you see differentiation should be meaningful and not just the color of the laptop. Here it is very important because I have seen uh, many organizations projecting the colors. So, that matters a lot. But again the point is laptop has a fundamental, uh, fundamental you know uh, uh, relationship with the kind of efficiency that laptop may carry. So, that uh, meaningfulness must be projected before the looks and the aesthetics and so on and definitely many organizations they have been. Uh, projecting, you know, uh, for example, you know, uh, laptops getting converted into tabs, and and uh, one model is yoga laptop, you know, uh, marketed uh, with that kind of a perspective. So that is very interesting part, and people do like that, and and that is very so intelligent of uh, product managers to actually think of these kind of things. But again, meaningfulness has to be projected. Automotives like you know, Bajaj Pul Pulsar DTSI differentiated for its digital, uh, you know twin spark plug ignition feature. Now, this is slightly difficult to 
project, but uh, you know I commend that uh, Bajaj uh, they have done it well, uh, you know their uh, advertising partners uh, or, or agency they have done very well when they projected DTSI with a branding perspective. Uh, I do not know how many of you would remember the full form of DTSI or you would actually know, but, but that connotes something in your mind which is related to efficiency, power, you know, uh, strength and so on and it has become a brand in itself. So, that is what we are talking of and then I will be unfolding so many things related to this in due course of time when we will be talking of uh, brand management. Now comes in performance quality quality related to performance of the product. See performance quality is the level at which the product's primary characteristics operate. Again remember however we project the product it cannot be differentiated from the core value which it should carry in due course of time. So, customers will pay for better performance as long as higher performance does not exceed the perceived value of the consumer. Sony Xperia Pro, Nikon, mirrorless cameras, Surf Excel, several kinds of examples are there. Many a times talking of Surf Excel or any detergent for that matter, many a times it has been very strongly projected that you know uh, tide hai to white hai that, that kind of a thing that is very efficient of them that has worked for them. But uh, you see product managers that, that is that is from the side of advertising and integrated marketing communication manager or, or a person who is driving the message actually. But for product manager when you say that it is driving the whiteness basically on a cloth then product managers uh, you know intensity lies in generating the relevance related to that statement which has been released that means the customer should feel that it has actually the detergent has actually created that particular difference. So, so that is why they always show you know you dip it there and you bring it and you know it is sparkling white. Do you actually feel that way? I do that sometimes I, I wash my own clothes many a times you know I have been telling you that. So, now uh, you see quality of con conformance you know do not think that uh, I have to wash my clothes always. Now, quality of conformance is the ability of a product service or process to meet its design specifications. It confirms to the design and, and uh, in other words it is a measure of how close products and services come to meeting planned criteria once they are produced or delivered. Example can be a Porsche 911 which is designed to accelerate 60 miles per hour within 10 seconds you see just push the pedal and it goes to almost you know 84, 85 kilometers per hour speed within 10 seconds. It is a very high speed basically. The model is said to have high conformance quality although they, they might have increased uh, you know the speed and uh, today rapidly that, that function is going very, very high. I have been told that you know many, many automobiles probably this one also they have you know gone to 100 uh, kilometers per hour in 4 seconds, 5 seconds it, it can be related and uh, relative can be cross checked also, but, but uh, just to give you an insight that high speed within few seconds. Now, that is where you know conformance with their uh, you know uh, kind of quality comes in or whatever you know is, is projected in front of the customer, whatever customer expects from such kind of products and so on. Durability, every product is supposed to be durable you know kind of I, I, I do not think that you take your woolen suits as perishables I do not think. So, so while designing you know uh, woolen suits you know kind of coats and pair of pants and those kind of you know the cloth the fabric related to that the producers the product manager when talking to production managers or their you know research and development team they focus upon that people would love to have this for longer number of years however, however the, the stitching becomes you know out of fashion or something you know people would, would not like to just throw it away because, because that requires lots of effort for selecting a particular fabric and design for you and then getting it stitched up to your mark and so on. So, even in case of fabric which is itself 
you know perishable after perishable after a particular kind of stage except for you know uh, silk which is which is uh, long lasting if maintained well wool definitely but but again the point is in such cases also durability matters and when you are talking of automotives when you are talking of machines when you are talking of you know refrigerators in your homes you want that to be flawless you you want that to be you know having uh, carrying a particular kind of a strength which stays there see to what extent you would give it uh, that kind of a strength because because ultimately you have to think in time uh, terms of cycles you know its own life cycle the, the 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 life cycle of the product and and you know the associated uh, you know usage and then customer preferences which would keep on changing you have to project those things as well but regardless of that even if customer wants something new within a very short span of time customer would still not be compromising on the durability element remember this many manufacturers they have tried to confirm the durability element with the time span the customer would change his mind in terms of usage of that product they have tried these kind of things but that has not worked believe me because there is a because there is a huge variation between uh, you know uh, the behavior of customers within the same bracket regards with regards to durability for example you see uh, uh, within one target segment you would find let's say 30% 40% 50% people who would like to change their automotives in 5 6 years but within the same target segment 30 40 50% would uh, would be who would carry forward their uh, automotives for you know another 5 6 years now you see but for both both of them durability matters actually so that is a very strong element of a product and it is a measure of the product's expected operating life under natural or stressful conditions it is checked on factory floors for with with so many dimensions and it is the domain of production and operations management which you can you know study from one of those courses you know for example power drilling machines how strong it is how durable and you see when we are talking of uh, uh, the element uh, of of uh, you know the involvement of that particular product in the safety of let's say uh, your your house for example you know uh, electrical wires you want strong uh, durability element there for example tires you see today when you go to super highways you can drive very fast for a longer longer span of time and tires they get heat up now that is where durability perspective comes in you would never like your customer to suffer just because of undurable tires and that is what so many companies are projecting nowadays you got my point you would have watched the advertisements related to the durability of tires in recent times and it ha- it is in consonance with the upgradation of highways india is going through which is excellent nowadays so you see so now now uh, uh, when we are talking of uh, you know durability perspective the extra price for durability must not be excessive however and the product must not be subject to rapid technological obsolescence also example smartphones cement you know for example ambuja cement says har nirman ki jaan you know it will stay forever reliability buyers normally will pay a premium for more reliable products reliability is a measure of the probability that a product will not malfunction or fall within a specified time period godrej steel almira and this is one of those products you would find stories around this product in almost every home which has possessed it you know people would say that it is there for 30 years 40 years and and they have been known for the strength they you know they they have enjoyed this kind of uh, you know a feedback all through tata steels they produce so many products related to that and castrol magnetic it's more than just oil it's liquid engineering as they say now that is that is an, uh, you know a extreme uh, kind of an assurance to the customer which castrol lives up to definitely and so you see uh, that that reliability perspective that you depend upon that product is very very important and these elements are catered to by product management product managers and 
you know projected as the elements of brand which we will talk about later on and conveyed through integrated marketing communication which we will be talking in brand management as well for a you know little while. Repairability measures the ease of fixing a product when it malfunctions or fails. You would not like any product to be frequently repaired. You see and especially those products which you depend upon. Earlier you see remember when the earlier days of laptops and computers wherein so many things used to come up as hiccups in terms of your software usage. Today these organizations they have come a far far way when you see your laptop uh, somehow you know one of the applications is not working they get to know that in real time they uh, try to infuse support from there itself and while doing your job you know uh, the file does not get corrupt it gets you know stored at the back end and when you switch it on uh, once again the file in its you know due form comes back. I remember in earlier days when I used to type you know the data used to get lost somehow and, and so on. So many things were there and I am talking of software repairability which is a very important element of our, our, our lives today. And when we talk of you know repairability of other products for example in summers if air conditioning is not working well if your air conditioner always malfunctions then you would not like that somehow. There are several case studies uh, on that you know air conditioning, refrigeration, televisions in today's era no one wants to remain away from a display screen. Now if the display screen gets blackened out it is TV or a mobile phone or a computer, what would you feel? You know, shut off from the world, that is where the you know durability, reliability, repairability aspect of these products you know are important. Because if it goes off once, you would never look towards that kind of a product uh, further and then you will feel dejected actually. So, that is the job of a product manager who actually tries to assure that with the help of their research and development team in, in uh, at the back end and production teams and so on who is uh, working day in day out on that. See, so see repairability measures the ease of fixing uh, a product when it malfunctions or fails as I said. Ideal repairability would exist if users could fix the product themselves with the little cost in money or time. And many, many uh, organizations they give you you know guides which, which work very well and, and there are software guides also. So, some products include a diagnostic feature that allows service people to correct a problem over the telephone or advise the user how to correct it and many computer hardware and software companies offer technical support over the phone by fax or email or via real time chat online and they keep on guiding you how to best use it and so on. Sometimes there are compatibility issues and nowadays when you know so many new applications are coming there are several compatibility issues when, when you know one of the applications is not working because you have downloaded uh, the other application which is not uh, you know com uh, complementing uh, uh, you know uh, the existing application at the back end and so on and this makes you uh, you know puzzled on because you do not know about this. So, you just go to the site of uh, that organization and with FAQs they will advise you and we have referred to FAQs as a point of discussion earlier as well. See examples are Whirlpool or LG and several electrical appliances and so on. So, you see I will end this part of the discussion in this session here itself and I will be coming back to you with some more elements of differentiation. and, and Remember that these elements however you know sublime in character or nature they are but these are one of the most important differentiating factors when you start using a product and when you become loyal to a product. So you see that is how product management is related to gaining the loyalty of the customers in long term and converting a product into a brand. So, I will be coming back to you next time, till then goodbye.